by Professor V. Narayan Padrami ji. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay. So we are good to we are ready to go for the next session, right? All of us. Yes. So, sir is professor and dean with Vedanta uh, Vedanta Faculty, Karnataka Sanskrit University. He is also the co-founder of Bharatiya Vidvat Parishad. He is recipient of the Badarayan Vyas Kamal at the hands of President of India in 2011. He comes in the Pandurangi family and has, this family has contributed highly to the development of philosophies of Dvaita Vedanta and Nyaya for the last 500 years. That's an amazing contribution to have him among, amongst us is our fortune. His PhD in Vaita Vedanta from Rashtriya Sanskrit Sansan in Delhi and PhD in Nyai from Rashtriya Sanskrit Vidyapit Tirupati. His research fields include the Indian logic, Vaita Vedanta, Purva Vimansa, ancient Indian historiography, and machine translation published in many books and papers. His topic is Puranic Cosmology from the lens of, uh, I'm not sure whether I've written the right word, it is Madhvachari or Madhvachari. Madhvachari. So there was some problem in the schedule, I was not sure. Yeah. So it's indeed an honor to have you here, sir. ಶ್ರೀಗುರುಭವನ್ಮಹಾಧರೀಕೋ I was very much uh, in a difficult situation yesterday, but now with the uh, preamble provided by Professor M. I, I am comfortable. I can present what I wanted to uh, uh, speak. So if you can make it, that will be. So um, we have a caution. Uh, I have been given the subject that Puranic uh, uh, Cosmology as per the um, lens of Madhvacharya. Uh, there are quite, Madhvacharya has described some of the aspects in his works, Mahabharata, Prenirane, and also Bhadar, Kukushat, etc. And Vadra uh, um, he has detailed in his Bhubad Varnana, and there are two more Bhubad Varnanas, one by Smokinder Delta and another by Varinder Delta. Apart from these Sanskrit works, uh, some details are available in the um, Kannada works of Vijay Dasa also. So this is the situation. Uh, so the, we have gotten that Achintya Kluye Bhavaha Natam Starkena Yosei. Natam Sarkhyan Sahe, it is the Mahabharata, and Yatpravartam Pratim Samvik Shastrach Rishi Bhashitam Dushayet Anadityaya Sathavet Parmadhatakar. It is what they are doing. So, um, I am very much uh, cautious about um, what to say, and uh, uh, curiously, my grandfather, he was talking to one of the Jyotishas at the time, around the 70, 80 years back. And the Jyotisha, he told that Vedavyasa did not know about the correct uh, planetary situation, so he wrote something else. Uh, my grandfather immediately slapped that person on face. You don't speak such thing. Uh, <laughs> it was the situation, uh, but um, 
that's why I am very much cautious, but I want to present what uh, what is more understandable and more uh, reasonable things here. So when we speak about the uh, cosmology, Puranic cosmology, normally uh, we overlook Vedic cosmology, uh, the very base of the cosmology, but there are so many things that are available in the Vedas. Uh, all the lokas, seven lokas, six lokas are they are stated in the uh, Vedas. Uh, for the um, Rigveda 154 says, Vishnu Param Padam Aukhati Puri. Uh, it is both taken to mean the Shushumara and also uh, the original Vishnu Loka. And this road Yavaha. Savitudva Upaska Eka Yamasi Bhone Virashana. Speaking about the six uh, dual Lotas. Uh, and again, this 154 Rigveda says, Yo Askabhai Uttaram Samstham Vishakrama Anastre Bhore Yes. The 154. Yo Askabhai Uttaram Samstham. Uh, this Samstham. And the Madhyama Sadhastha Uttara Sadhastha that uh, uh, refers to Brahma Loka, uh, Satya Loka, um, it is as interpreted in the Bhagavata, etc. So, Trati Yetvam Ayam Shadurvihi Amimita Thiraha, he speaks about the six Urvis, the uh, Dilokas, um, Goa Swaha, etc. We have to figure out exactly what. Um, Lokas, these uh, very texts speak, but uh, there is a lens. And Tratiyatvam, Rajati Rastiyamsam, it is there. And more importantly, uh, the Rigveda Vishwakarma Sutta speaks about the Ajasyanabhu or Dekamarkism. Uh, the whole concept of Padmanabha, Purusha, the, the stems of, uh, from this uh, sentence. Uh, Paramatma is sleeping and uh, Padma is there. The Padma is not exactly mentioned here in this uh, sentence, but Mahabharata interprets so. Uh, and Madhacharya uses the same thing. So, uh, there are a few quotations and about the Vaikuntha, Aparajita, Puri, Devana, Puri, Ayodhya, the uh, Vaikuntha Loka, where there are three divisions, Sri Bhaga, Puhaga, and Durga Bhaga, where Sri Bhaga is called. Uh, I love yeah, uh, such reference are there. And uh, um, moreover, Chandogya Upanishad speaks, Arashtya, Havai, Nyascha, Arnavu, and Brahmaloka. There are two um, portions of Ara and Nya in the Brahmaloka, that is Vaikuntha. Uh, it is uh, um, covering the two portions of Sri Bhaga. So the Amukas cannot go there. Such things are available in the uh, um, uh, Shangok Upanishad and also the Prophetic Upanishad, Vaikum Brahma Loka Se Araha Talaha, it is found there. One more interesting point is Vatrim Shatam Vai Devadasya Anhyani Ayam Lokaha Tam Samantam Prathiri Vistavat Tariyeti Tam Samantam Prathiri Vistavat Samudra Tariyeti it is the well, Brahmaratik Upanishad, where uh, Nagarjaya uh, shows the correct uh, uh, the the travel of Surya Ratha. We will come to uh, it later, uh, but uh, it refers to the Dwatramshat uh, Muhurta of a day. One day. Dvatrinshat Muhurta, how Dvatrinshat Muhurta is counted? Uh, uh, is two and a half Kritikas or one Muhurta like that, Madhacharya is interpreted. If you put uh, two Kritikas, then it will be Trinshat Muhurta and Dvatrinshat Muhurta, etc. So, since the Devaratha travels uh, one day, um, that is the uh, whole uh, 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 traveling uh, distance. Uh, tam lokam samantam prathivi. That prathivi is uh, tamas, uh, anand tamas, what we are seeing in the Bhagavata. And samantam prathivi, this tamas samantra, it is a reference to the Dhanavadha. 
because this Prithvi, it is very hard. That's why uh, it is referring to uh, Tamas. So such references are found in the Vedas. And uh, in the uh, Mera Parvata, we have so many references. Uh, uh, but which Mera Parvata, again, there is a uh, uh, difference of opinion. But uh, interestingly, the Prabhupada who is mentioned in the Vrathadarga also, is mentioned in the this Vayu Purana. Vayu Purana is more similar to the Brahman Purana. Uh, they have common uh, theme. Shatashmi Menam Menetrihi Sahasra Shim Sahasra Sahasra Asrim Prashihi Prabhu Ashtashmi Menam Savarani Pitrasvantu Bhavari. There are so many people, they, how they see it, they describe so. So the Prashtiki says, Prashtiki um, Parimandala, Prashtiki says the whole Meru Parvata is Parimandala, uh, full round, such references are available there. So uh, I am not going to talk much about the Meru Loka. Meru Parvata, maybe um, uh, symbolic uh, or uh, maybe uh, this thing. But one thing I want to clarify is, so it is again coming to the epistemological points. How where, where the Vedas are valid and where the Pratyaksha is valid. Pratyaksha ka Pramaneshu, Pratyaksha Sirmaji Veda. The things that we can see by Pratyaksha, their Pratyaksha only is Subhaji Veda. The we can we can have to accept the Pratyaksha only. But whereas some things which are not totally uh, understandable or uh, understood or uh, under the Toreja for Indriyas, then they are out of Toreja for Indriya. So these things, Agamika Pramaneshu Veda Seva Jeeveda, it is the Madhacharya's uh, uh, view. Um, so um, Mahameru and Sattatripa Sattasagara, whether these are available, they are under the Toreja for Indriyas or not. If they are not uh, under the Torah of our Indriya, then certainly uh, we cannot uh, take the Pratyaksha Virodha there. So whatever uh, is available uh, and whatever is Pratyaksha, then we have to accept uh, according to the Pratyaksha. Whatever seen by Pratyaksha, then we have to accept only Pratyaksha. So I will skip with the uh, uh, Loka Nam Utpati. Um, it is very interesting. Again, Mahasalila, Dhanvarita, uh, Dharvarita, it speaks about Tadva Idama Paha Salilama Asi. Little bit. Tadva Idama Paha Salilama Asi. So many texts speak about the Salila and also uh, Brahmanda. Rutasya Pade Kavya Vipanti, Anda Koshe Bhonam Vibharti, Suvarnam Koshe Vrajasapri Yurnam. The Suvarna Kosha, the Taishri Aranita speaks about the Suvarna Kosha. And so many Shatapta Brahmana, etc., they all speak about the Abhava, Yudhamatri, Sarinami Vasa, Hiranyam, Tapyamana, Hiranyam, Andam, Sambhubhuva, Tadidam, Hiranyam, Andam, Yavad, Sambhasya Vela, Tavad, Pariyat, Lavada. So again, this Hiranyam, it is going down and coming up, etc. These are all mentioned in the Shatapta Brahmana and also Jaini Brahmana. And uh, the, again, there is one more mention about the um, Brahmanda where it has got the silver upside and the golden downside also. I think uh, this missing here. Uh, <clears> that Hiran may mandam samosha la hari tiyam ina mandam niravatita. The Jaini Brahmana speaks about the um, the cracking of this Brahmanda, Hariti, Evadam, Andam, Yeravidyata. That is also a very interesting thing that we will uh, see now. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Mani texts, Vishnu Purana, etc., they speak about the gradual development of this Brahmanda, not a very single one. The Yetam Upasya, I say, Nahi Hemu. Is the gradual development uh, these speaks. Maharaja, uh, please go. Ah, yes. 
we don't see the Sapta Sagara, Sapta Dripas, because it is yes, uh, such a very vast uh, creation. We don't see all these things, but what we see is the, um, the many things which is uh, globular. Something uh, the Ayomsha speaks about the Padma uh, Karasatri. Dani Padma Sipatrani, Purni, Puri, Yurthun, Naradipa, De Gurkuma, Shayusita, Lecher Yasha, Vital Pitaha, Padma Skatarasa. Even Bhagavata speaks about the same thing, the Padma Kesara and Padma Patras and uh, uh, Padma Patrani, and also the, uh, the downwards Padma Patras, uh, mm -hmm. Lake Sharija. So, Lake Sharija are all included in this Bharata Varsha. So, I don't think that we have to um, accept something that we all speak about the other world. And Bhagavata. Is famous Google conversation. Now, the collection of Anna the Vakasyama. There is one more reference. This Bhubhara cannot be fully described. Uh, it is in the beginning of the 16th day of Bhagavata. So, Vibhudhaya Shatena, even if we take hundreds of years, hundreds of lives, then we cannot finish the Brahmanda, so it is such vast uh, Brahmanda, but uh, I want to Bhubhavalika Vishesham. I am only describing the Bhubhavalika Vishesham, a small portion of the Brahmanda. That is what uh, um, it suits um, the, my view. And Yogava, I am Kamala, Kuvalaya Kamala Kosha, Abhyantara Kosha. It speaks about the Jamudvipa. Jamudvipa is like uh, Kamala. Kuvalaya Kamala, Kosha Abhyantar Kosha. There is one Padma and inside Padma, uh, such uh, things are um, they're spoken of. And all other, what we see, what we, uh, this, the whole globe that we see now is only Bharata Varsha. We don't see any other uh, uh, Varsha, Sari Varsha, Kimpurusha, etc. etc. Um, uh, that uh, um, one instance in Mahabharata says Arjuna wanted to conquer the Uttarakurus, but uh, the people in Uttarakuru said uh, you don't enter the Uttarakuru, it is uh, not possible for humans to enter all these things, uh, such as the religion. So, uh, what the Puranakara says, we have the only Bharata Varsha with us, and everything is not uh, visible to us, or we cannot go there. This uh, situation. Um, so, again, the dvipas, how many dvipas are there? The Bhagavata speaks about the eight dvipas. Ashtavu, Thai, Eke, Dvipa, Nukhade, Shanti, Sakra, Kandrihi, Ashwan, Vishnu, Imam, Hitam, Mahim, Paritaha, Pajitaha, Swarana, Prasthaya, Chandrashtriya, Avartana. Uh, please go, please go. Go, go. Go, go, go. Yes, yes. Is, uh... So, hmm, eight Dvipas, Bhagavata speaks. It is Varana Prasta Chandrashtila, etc. etc. That's Maharaja Lanka also. These are the Dvipas of Jambu Dvipa, Upa Dvipas of Jambu Dvipa, uh, not the Bharata Varsha, not, not even Bharata Khanda, as Bhagavata speaks. But whereas in the um, Matsya Purana and uh, all other uh, Brahman Purana, etc., Vayu Purana, etc., that we have uh, very detailed uh, um, uh, description of description of Varsha. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, that is a very detailed uh, description. Bharata Syasi Varsha said, No, Veda, Nego, Zeta, Indo, Tipa, Kashe, Rusha, Amra, Prana, Rustima, Nadu, Tipa, Sata, Sumiha, Dandavas, Tukamaruna, I am Chanama Station, Deepa, Deepa, the Deepa has other than Rutha. Yojana, Sahasan, to Deepa in the Trinantara. It is very clear. Uh, 1000 Yojana from uh, south north, and uh, now 9000 uh, Yojanas from uh, east to west. That is the Bharata Varsha. Um, uh, Bharata Khanda, it includes uh, 
from Himalaya to Kanyakumari and also from the uh, western, eastern part of the parts of the maybe uh, Burma and all other countries and to Arabia and to the west. So this is the Bharata Khanda. That's why we see Bharata Vrta Bharata Khande part uh, we are in the, uh, the very clear. Vipo, Vipal Vipoyam, Lekshe, Rante, Hru, Sarvasha. Yavanashya, Kirata, Ashtya, Tasyante, Guru, Pashtime. Kirata is there in the eastern side and Yavanas are in the western side. This is uh, um, the Matsya Pranas uh, speech. And Shadeyate Gattha, Matsya, again, Vaya Pranas speaks about the sum uh, Anudvipa, etc., etc., uh, which is not uh, very much clear which Anudvipa it is speaking. Uh, but uh, there are so many references, and uh, we are coming to the Sudarshan of Deva. So, uh, this, uh, what is Sudarshan of Deva? There is one description of Sudarshan of Deva in the uh, Mahabharata. Uh, it says, Mahabharata says, Parimandalo Maharaja, please uh, make it this. Uh, oh, this is what Bhavaneshwadas has uh, um, made. Dhruvendra uh, Acharya, uh, he took up this issue and made a representation that um, uh, it is about uh, Ayam Evam Sudarshanam Deva Drushare Chandra Mandare. If we see Chandra Mandala, this Sudarshanam Deva looks like, looks like Duramshay Pipala Sutra, Duramshay Shashwa Mahan. Two parts of one Pipala uh, uh, leaf, uh, two Pipala leaves, and another is the Duramshay Shashwa Mahan, one big uh, rabbit. So both together they make this uh, Sudarshan Dvipa, as we see in the next uh, picture. Um, so it is the Ulta Shasha. Uh, is there, it makes Asia and Africa and uh, the Ramshah people, uh, it makes uh, most of the North and South America. Uh, I don't know where Australia has gone, but uh, this day. So, this uh, Mahabharata text it speaks, it speaks about the Bharata Varsha. Bharata Varsha itself is uh, part as the Sudarshana Dvipa, uh, not all about the, what uh, we see the whole globe now is included in this thing, and it is Parimandala. The text speaks that it is Parimandala, yeah, it is fully uh, round. So, Parimandala Maharaja, there is also Chakra Samskita. And how to accommodate uh, such uh, Bhumi uh, in the Bhagavata? Uh, some efforts put by scholars that. Uh, uh, they think that uh, this uh, Sudarshana Deva is, uh, is stuck on a stuck on the edge of uh, Jambu Deva. But I don't think that uh, it is uh, very much possible because when Surya is traveling from such a far distance, uh, the whole Jambu Deva either should be should be um, having uh, night or uh, um, day. Uh, it is not possible that uh, it is getting some. There are some nights, something like that. Uh, there is a problem. And uh, if it is stuck on the edge of Jambu Deva, then there is a problem that how, where it is stuck and how, where is, why we are not finding the speaking, the speaking, it is speaking. Such uh, problems are there. But uh, the, they speak about the you know, such uh, Jambu Deva around Bharata uh, Varsha, where we can every, accommodate everything and which. Is which is uh, more critical way to accommodate the grana, etc. etc. There is no such problems. <coughs> and also, Nari is the Bhagavata speaks about the four uh, parts of the Ganga, which is falling in the different uh, Varshas. Whereas, uh, Vayu Purana, etc., they are speaking about the seven uh, uh, parts of the Ganga Nari, which flow into east, west, and south. Uh, that is the matrix which is Nalini, Nadini, Pavani, Nalini, etc. Nalini, Nadini, Pavani, 
And Vishnu Prana also speaks about the same thing. Maitreya Shruita Meda Samshepa Dodatoma Nasi Varsha Shakinati Shak Loktum Shakti Hati Vistara. So I suppose they have made one model for the whole Brahmanda. That is 25 crores, uh, 50 crores Brahmanda. It, it may be actually more bigger. Uh, this is uh, my uh, uh, assumption uh, based on the Bhagavata sentence. And Madhvacharya has very clearly given some portions. Loka Darshana Vashritya Devashta Mayas Tatha, Bruyuk Kathas Tatha, Tatra Shiksha, Rakya, Artha. Tatanjana, just uh, move upside the last one. Loka Darshana Vashritya Devashta Mayas Tatha, yes, it is. Loka Darshana Vashritya Devashta Mayas Tatha, Bruyuk Kathas Tatra, Tatra Shiksha, Rakya, Artha, Tatanjana. So the Samadhi Bhasha, Guche Bhasha and Darshana Bhasha, Darshana Bhasha, three Bhashas are there. The three Bhashas, Samadhi Bhashaya, Yeruptam, Tariyav, Bhashtam, Tatra Guche Bhashaya, Darshana Bhashaya, Yeruptam, Tassarum, Matra Akhimiti, Tesha Bhashaya. So uh, all the stories are there, but uh, um, we cannot uh, say everything uh, to be taken literally because they want to um, give some Education or shiksha for the people, that's why they use uh, such thing. So, it is the um, general uh, outline that I have given. Here, I just I wanted to uh, say a few things. Is it gotten it by Madhavacharya? Yes, 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 yes. yes. So, actually, there might be, um, again, Bhagavata uh, says, once upon a time when uh, Krishna and Balram were living in the Dharavati, there was a big eclipse. It speaks about the eclipse. Atayikara Bhagavatyam Vasato Ramakrishna Yoho Suryo Parata Sumahan Asi Kalpakshaya Yatha. There was a very big eclipse and the whole India went to Samantha Pantaka, Samantha Pantaka. Tamnyatva Manuja Rajam Tamnyatva Manuja Rajam Purastareva Sarvoshaha Sarvotaha Samanda Panchakam Shetram Yayuhu Shreyo Vidhisaya. So, everybody they, um, they uh, knew it in advance and uh, they went for the um, Kurukshetra to perform the three months, etc. Et so they had some mechanism to understand the Brahmachatra, etc. But the whole description given in the Bhagavata is not uh, Arthavada, not uh, Avidyamana Upasana. Uh, as Nilakanta Somyaji, etc., there are the epistemological differences there. Madhvacharya says, um, we, if we, if we meditate upon the unreal things, then we will be in very difficulty. So, not uh, uh, Asadupasana may not be Arthavada, but it is a uh, form of Bhagavan, Bhagavan Vishnu. Uh, that's, uh, that is given for the Yeda Bhagavata Rupam Spurante Vyahatamaya. So, it is for the meditation. It is one form of the Bhagavan, one form of the Vishnu, that is for the meditation. If we understand this, uh, if we meditate this uh, Stola Rupa, then we can go for the Sukshma Rupa. That's what uh, he says. Avatparam Sukshma, Sukshma Dhamam, Avyaktam Nirvisheshanam, Anadi Madhya Nidhanam, Nityam Vangana Sakparam. That is not describable at all. So, we can go to the Sukshma from this Stola, we can go to the well, that's why uh, the whole Nadhya, Asidanta, Ishram, Sheshma, Jyotam, etc., etc., all this for the meditation. It is one form of the God, so we cannot uh, say it is uh, against the modern astrology or modern science or uh, even our Siddhantic uh, models. So, Siddhantic models, they are for the astronomical calculation, Brahman, etc., they have 
different uh, they might have different calculations we don't know Aryabhata is the first one that we have in the Siddhanta but there must be uh, earlier uh, Siddhanta text uh, from because uh, the um, whole uh, Amavasya etc etc um, all of the three Aramikas and Veda yeah. they speak about the Tarakurana Masa and Dhamma and Vishwat etc etc so uh, they had a very clear mechanism and the professor Arina Inger is uh, studying more about this thing. So, this is uh, what seems more feasible uh, than uh, simply assuming that uh, uh, the same Radhakati, etc. And people knew it. And Vagaratita speaks about the 100 Ketus and uh, the Grana when happens when, when uh, the Surya and Chandra they happen in the same Rashi. Uh, but still they use the Rahu. Uh, so uh, uh, certain details. I hope um, it is more acceptable. Thanks for organizers to uh, speak with uh, in the presence of all the scientists. I am not a scientist, so you cannot claim exactly the positions, but uh, what I have understood, I am presenting to you. Thanks for uh, patient listening. All the issues. This Mahabharata is the name, but it includes the Ramayana and uh, Mahabharata. In Bhagavata? No. Yes, 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 Bhagavata. <laughs> but he has written a separate commentary on the Bhagavata, Bhagavata Tatariya. Mm -hmm. But the, it is only partial. When some different, different shlokas are there, they are commented in the Bhagavata Tatariya. But whereas the story is, Dere Dere Katha Gantan Rushpati Yukhthakiran. Come to some reconciliation with uh, so many texts uh, available in different countries. Uh, he says uh, some 5,000 slokas someday. Jagannath Gata's Google Vandana is No, 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 same, same, same. same. Uh, Vijay Rasa's Sushri Prakarana Surabhi is out there. They all speak about the same thing, but uh, they also take something from the some Puranas. Some yes, the uh, Tirtha Prabhanda is a separate work, and uh, on the, the Haridasas, they have spoken about the different uh, Tirtha Kshetra Surari, etc. What makes you think that uh, there is only one Brahmanda? <laughs> but I don't know. Because, no, no, because see that I am from Odisha. Mm. From the very childhood, from the very childhood, we have heard in the Odisha Bhagavad Purana, Brahmanda Mala Mala Hai Tarumo Kupe Virali. Yes. Since it is addressing uh, yes. Mahavishnu, that Brahmanda Mala Mala, and many, many Brahmandas, their humanity from your course of your uh, body. Yes, that is what is spoken about in the Bhagavata. Here it says one Brahma, he saw so many Anandapoti Anand Brahmanas in his different uh, uh, the wells of the uh, Rohu Kupas. But uh, that is where Bhagavatam has stated that uh, no, 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 it is actually Brahma, um, he saw all these Ananda Brahmanas with the power of Vishnu only, but not actually Ananda Brahmanas existing one time. Because this Brahmana itself is so vast, there is no need to create uh, so many Brahmanas at one time and uh, we never heard anything. If there are so many Brahmanas and these people must be able to travel to one Brahmana, another Brahmana, and all the Brahmas are uh, having the uh, dinner, etc. Such things are not there. Uh, one reason why it cannot be true, you see, Krishna's uh, signs, Aritrama, 
he finishes one pastime in this Brahmanda, goes to the next Brahmanda and performs, and goes to another Brahmanda and performs. So if you only stick to one Brahmanda, then this eternal pastimes of Krishna uh, will be refuted. So Krishna is having his uh, pastimes in so many lokas inside this Brahmanda. He may not be showing all these things to us, our gopis or all people, but the Goloka and uh, so many, yeah, with this uh, yeah, infinite power, he can take infinite uh, rupa and uh, the whole world is the dance of Krishna. So there is no such problem. This dissolution of each Brahmanda, so when dissolution happens, it cannot apply to eternality. Eternality will happen only if there is the infinite Brahmanda. No, 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 no. no. Of course, all the texts they speak, when this Brahmanda is born, then uh, Vishnu will speak, uh, will sleep for 100 years and then he will get up and again uh, he will create the whole thing. So, there is, there will be no such purpose, there is no sleeping because they will be 24 into 7, he will be always creating and destroying all these things. That is what uh, Madhvacharya has said, said that uh, one Brahmanda. Okay. Right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I want to do a topic. One uh, thing that you have asked, Anandapati, how oh, Anandapati Brahmanamaita, Vishnu is eternal, so he is uh, continuously of one after another, one after another, that Anandapati Brahmanamaita that uh, happens. Okay, uh, thank you. Um, different topic. When, uh, you mentioned at the end, uh, Madhvacharya's uh, conclusion is that we meditate on uh, the universe as the form of God. Now, um, you gave an example that uh, of the Stula Rupa and the Shukshma Rupa. Did uh, Madhavacharya offer any insights in terms of our meditation on the Stula Rupa in order to understand the Shukshma? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Could, you, could, could you give some of those? I will, uh, very detailed uh, is there, I will give. The whole Bhagavata Tathriya, Vidya Skanda, he has made about the how to, um, the which uh, people they uh, meditate upon, which Rupa, etc., etc. Uh, very detailed uh, description of thing. So that's meditation on the Shukta Rupa, on the form of God, in order to understand the universe, or yes. vice versa. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. But you mentioned the previous question. I want to ask uh, if uh, there is description on Stula Rupa and Sukhma Rupa, then uh, Stula Rupa, according to Madhacharya, I'm talking, uh, that we, uh, we can understand because Krishna Bhakti is there. Hmm? But Stula Rupa, if it is because if it is Sukhma, and if it is Sukhma, does it? According to other, uh, according to Abhayat, etc., it can be Nirguna Brahma. But according to Madhvachar, it cannot be. So, how does he define Sukshma Rupa? That is one thing, my one question. And another question was that uh, the word Mosha you had mentioned in Kaitari Ayanaka, Rajasa, Rajasa uh, Parivrutam is the word. So, what does Rajas stand for there? Because Rajas can be Rajoguna. And it just also can be does uh, different uh, meaning or defect, etc. But also, what is the meaning over there? Why it is uh, Rajasa Parivrutam? Is it because of action, the motion, uh, that virtue of, of creation? Is it because of that? Because creation happens only when Rajoguna is in preponderance. So, is it because of that? Because with so many meanings of Rajas, that question stands over there. And about Bhagavata Purana, when you said Bhagavata Vishesham Nama Rupa Mana Rasmanaka Vakya Sama. So there, what happens is that it is definitely he is saying that Nama Bhagavata, the entire Bhagavata, he is, uh, he is describing by Nama, the names, the Rupa, the forms, and even Mana. What is the, uh, what is the expanse of it? But the, previ the previous line which you have quoted, I think that huh, it is my assumption. I don't say I'm correct. It was about Purusha, etc. No? I think that previously these verses were not divided into numbers. So sometimes three lines go together and the uh, next verse actually the topic changes with the last line of the uh, 
of a verse. So it may be that bifurcation by that, that meaning will be more clear that they are two different things. That is what I understand. Different topics they are. That is what I feel uh, you may you may have a difference of opinion. Anybody can have. Uh, and uh, one thing is that it was said uh, that Pratyaksha, whatever is Pratyaksha that we, uh, we see, that has to be accepted. If it is so, uh, then uh, and because those things which cannot be uh, which cannot be attained reached by our organs, but our sense organs, everywhere in organs, you know, it has been said that sense, sense organs are limited power, no? That is why I think uh, we say, no? Yaktad adresham, achintyam, that is why the, those uh, descriptions are there. So I have to say that uh, because uh, we cannot uh, experience it by our sense organs, it cannot be true about Brahmanda, etc. So these are the thoughts which uh, I have, uh, which had come to my mind. And the last was when you quoted Vishnu no Kaudera and Kautam, your Parthiwal Vimamira Jamsi. I think that it was simple. Uh, there it was about uh, dividing the earth and the heaven. It has been said that he had established Uttar, Uttar Sadaskar, you said, no? Uh, that was says actually. He has, uh, Vishnu has divided uh, the heaven and the earth. And uh, when it is been said about Go, etc., no? uh, about Kirana, uh, or other, so the word Go in Sanskrit has. The, not only the meaning as cow, but the rays of the sun. And uh, I think that uh, in, uh, in this Vishnu uh, Sukta, etc., everywhere, whenever we think about go, or uh, in the later on Puranas, Gava Meagrata Santu, Gava Meagrata Santu, etc., we never think that it, it, is, it speaks about jnana, because that go, the ray, it stands again for light, and light stands for knowledge. So I think that this Puranic verses also in that life we should some there is a time that we interpret in that way. So it is quite possible uh, there is one Pratriya Satadhana he is there and the same Yo Aspahai Uttam Sarasam Vikramana Sri Bhagavad is interpreted by Bhagavata to mean that uh, Brahman was thinking that uh, um, uh, Brahman, Brahmaloka was struggling with the power of this Vishnu when Vishnu took a such big form. The Brahmaloka was struggling, it was uh, coming out of its structure. Uh, it was uh, interpreted by Bhagavata there as. And Swaran Koshum Rajasa Payotum Rajas may be anything. Uh, anyhow, it has got uh, nine avarnas. The Brahman has got nine avaradas, Pratavi avarana, Jal avarana, Vaya avarana, Atishan. Such uh, description may be there. So, Rajasa, Rajo Guna may not be uh, meant there. Maya Bhavu Krishna Vaita Atar Bhavata Atar Bhavata Atar Bhavata Jnana Adhika Vasti Bhavu Krishna Atar Bhavata Maati Praksi No, 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 in everyone's mind and their brain is functioning to the full. And I'm sure they will have a lot of questions for you for this too. But what I would like to particularly quote from your presentation is that the purpose of understanding cosmology is finally achieving that perfection in meditation on the Lord. That's the purpose 
that we should not forget, uh, which is quoted particularly by Marvacharya. And we are all grateful to Marvacharya uh, to make this particular contribution, which is so sublime and pure, uh, in, towards Bhakti. So thank you so much for this particular presentation.